In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a pie chart um, with data labels. Um, so as you can see, we have a table here with energy data, um, and it is indicates the uh, percent of total electricity in the United States that was generated from different sources. So here's your sources on the left, um, the total energy used to generate electricity in quads or quadrillion BTUs in the center column, and in the right column we have the percent of total. Um, so there's a couple ways to do this. I'm going to show kind of a quick way to create a pie chart from this data or from these data. So just highlight. In this case, I'll show you. You can you can actually just highlight the um, the total energy use in the in the name of the energy source. Just hit insert, and we're going to go to um, pie chart. Uh, I like the 3D pie charts, so I'll just throw that in there so you can see that. Um, it, it already you know, has a default uh, color scheme and everything, which is fine. Um, to, I personally don't think that it's very easy uh, to interpret when you have a legend on the right here because uh, you know the colors are kind of, well, here's solar, nuclear is up here, hydro is here. Um, so these colors seem to be a little bit mixed up relative to the order of the, the, um, key, the uh, legend. So I'm going to add some data labels here that indicate both the energy source inside of the chart as well as the percentage inside the chart. So data labels are um, basically what they sound like. They're, they're ways to label the data. So you can, you can add a, a number of different um, labels to the data in this chart. So in order to do that, you go to layout, the layout tab, and you can see there's a whole there's a data labels drop down. And so you could just you could put it, um, you know, in the middle, outside, inside in, outside in, and so forth. I'm just gonna add on the outside end so you can see what happens. It's it's very jumbled and it has a default of actually putting in the value here. So I'm gonna format these data labels so I can add in the the name as well as the uh, percentage. So if you go to data labels again, you can go to options down here. You click on it. So now I have a whole bunch of options. So you can see that the boxes that are checked are the, uh, um, the value, and then it's, this is sh showing leader lines, which just means if you pull these labels out, it's going to leave a line here pointing to the, the slice of the pie, so to speak. Okay, so I want to add a percentage. So as you can see, I can add a percentage, and it's automatically going to update the labels. So I didn't actually have to highlight the percentage. It takes all of these numbers, and Excel automatically calculates this sum and then calculates the percentage of the sum for each of these um, energy sources. So um, now we have a percentage. You can see it's separated by a comma. So I'm going to get rid of the value because I don't really care that much about it for this um, particular example. Um, and I also want to show the name of the source. So you can see I click category name and it pops right up. So you can see, I'll just hit close. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this legend because we don't need it now so you can just highlight it hit delete there you go let's stretch this out so you can see it a little better okay so now you can rearrange these by clicking on them so let's just make it a little more easy to interpret so I see the leader lines point to the little slices that's not too bad let's drag solar out a little bit um, hit clear let's center that a little bit more hydro that's okay Wind is a little bit no man's land, but I'll just kind of slide it over. Um, geothermal. Yeah, okay. Let's slide up wind. And then natural gas is right here. Um, now, so the other thing I can do is actually I can change this number format. So you see how um, solar is 0%. Well, we know it's actually a little bit, you know, it's just a fraction of a percent. But let's... let's um, make sure it indicates you know an accurate number here so you can actually go back to data labels more go back to options and so you have your numbers here you can actually format the number and you get a percentage and you can see now the format code tells you um, we're going to use two decimal places and that's you know we could go back to one if we wanted to or we could go to zero but let's let's keep two We'll click add, close, and you can see that it updated now. So let's slide these numbers over a little bit so again it's easier. There we go. 
Okay, so now you can see we'll have to rearrange these again, but that you, you can manipulate these data labels in any, any number of different ways. Um, but that's the basics of how you can do it.